A tree is the most efficient way to connect the vertices of a graph. But in real-world situations, some connections are more expensive than others. Two cities might be very close to each other physically, but building a direct road between them might be costly because of protected wetlands, zoning laws, or other factors. To reflect these costs, we can use a weighted graph and look for a minimum cost spanning tree. Intuitively, we could obtain a minimum cost spanning tree by choosing the edges of least weight. Let's see how this might work out. Remember, when creating an algorithm, try things out. So let's try to find a minimum weight spanning tree for the graph shown. Since there are n equals 4 vertices, a spanning tree would have to have 3 edges. So let's select the 3 edges of least weight, and those would be But this isn't a spanning tree. But why? The reason it's not a spanning tree is because it's a cycle which can't be a tree. So if we select n minus 1 edges at the same time, we might inadvertently create a cycle. But since removing one edge from a cycle breaks the cycle, then, if we add our edges one at a time, we can reject an edge if it would produce a cycle. This leads to the following algorithm created by Joseph Kreskal in 1956. Choose the least cost edge that doesn't form a cycle, then lather, rinse, repeat until all vertices are connected. This is known as Kreskal's algorithm. For example, let's try to find a minimum cost spanning tree. Since there are seven vertices, we'll need to choose six edges. We begin by choosing the lowest weight edges. That's A, D, and F, G. Then C, E. Then B, E. Now, if we take BC, we introduce a cycle. So we'll take AF instead. And finally, DE is our sixth edge and completes the tree. It's possible we might have to choose between two edges of the same weight. This would give us a different tree. For example, the first few edges chosen are the same, but what if we chose BC instead of BE? Then we'd get a different spanning tree. Since the two spanning trees have the same cost, it doesn't matter which edge we choose. Or does it? Remember, an algorithm always terminates and always produces an answer. Is Kreskal's procedure actually an algorithm for finding the minimum cost spanning tree? Now, before we answer this, remember, if the only tool you have is a hammer, then every problem has to be treated like a nail. And that's great if you want to hang a picture, not so good if you want to open a jar of pickles. Now, there's actually two ways of looking at this statement. If you only know one algorithm, you have to use it in all situations, whether or not it's the best approach. And it doesn't matter if it's the best approach. So, before we even worry about whether Kreskal's algorithm is actually an algorithm, let's see if we can solve the problem in another way.